All right, this is another rebuke video on the Hispanic, Latino, Hebrew, Israelites. Uh, a lot of them, for the most part, during these holidays, we know that they are hardcore into Santeria, okay? Most of them, we know that they're into Roman Catholicism, one of the worst sects of Christianity out there. Uh, yeah, a lot of them got a whole bunch of issues. They play with these uh, idols of theirs like they're, uh, toys, figurines, and I'm talking about the idols made out of stone and whatnot that represent some of the depictions of uh, characters that you can read about in the Bible. Oh, yeah, a lot of them are going to be involved in New Year's celebrations, uh, Dia de los Reyes, or Magos, whatever. I think that's on January 6th after the first. And Christmas just passed. They're very big on their idols. There's always idolatry, Santeria, all of this crap. Uh, their churchianity. I don't know what the hell's up with them. Uh, I was there last year for all of this. I was there from like early December to like the first week of April. So I seen it all. I seen it all. Uh, I should have recorded it. I should have done a documentary on it. I don't, I don't know why I didn't do it. Uh, it crossed my mind. But, yeah, I mean, I let the opportunity go. I should have recorded it all and rebuked it. Uh, I hadn't gone to Mexico in like 15-plus uh, years. So I think my brother's there right now. He, ha he hasn't gone to Mexico in like 16 years. Uh, he's there now. Uh, but, of course, he's into that crap. He's into the Roman Catholicism. He's into that uh, Santeria bullshit. So he's not going to help in any sense of the word. So I can't count on him for anything. Um, he's no better off than these two-thirds. Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, he's useless. Okay. In every sense of the word. <laughs> now, I don't hate him, but, yeah, he's got... He's got to get his shit together. He thinks he has it together, but he doesn't. Anyways, yeah, these uh, Hispanic Latinos, Central America, South America, and even here in the United States, uh, a lot of them, they're just lost. I mean, they're just religious. They're not very insightful. They don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, they're, you know, weekend church goers. Um... They're into their little, um, you know, feasts and festivals that they have throughout the year. And some, some, some of the people here, they go to other places, other like Latin Hispanic countries, and they just indulge in more nonsense. So they're very big on the partying, and but you know, they when it comes to the actual commandments of the book they're supposed to be following, which they know nothing about, they don't even understand it. These people are totally blind. Uh, they don't practice none of that, okay? If he, I'm pretty sure they would pick up the Bible and mirror some of the commandments back to themselves. I'm pretty sure they would fail a couple of them, you know? They, they're just self-righteous, religious nuts um, that think they're on the right path. They think they're on their way to heaven, but they, they don't know anything. They, they're just deceived, deluded. And, yeah, a lot of them got all kinds of sins that they need to deal with. Uh, you name them, all the sins you can find in the Bible. Um, somebody mentioned that there's uh, incest going on with the, the Hispanic Latino community, and I believe that is true. Uh, since they live in towns that are so small, everyone knows each other. Everyone's related to everyone. Um... Yeah, they run into probably relatives of theirs that are, you know, attractive and whatnot. So, yeah, that's how all that begins, you know, that one thing leads to another. They got lust issues, you know, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes. So they don't got that on check. Um, yeah, so, they, you know, the whole town's related when you go to some of these places outside of the U.S., these Hispanic Latino countries. So since the town is so small and everyone, you know, knows everybody and 
ma- marries uh, each other. So they, you know, produce family members and, you know, so you got people sleeping around with, uh, I don't know, cousins and all that, second cousins, stuff like that. So, yeah, these people, it's it's, it's messed up. Things are messed up with them, okay? Just because people don't talk about them enough doesn't mean that they don't got their own issues. So, yeah, they're dealing, you're dealing with that. And, yeah, they're very family-oriented. So, I mean, it's bound to happen, okay? They stay within themselves. A lot of them, like the hardcore, you know, stay within the family type of individual, especially in the villages out there. That's cause, because they don't, you know, expand their horizons, you know. Uh, a lot of the people out here, a lot of, like, my family members, they're all married to, like, uh, a white man, you know. They're all married uh, to, uh, yeah, a white men. Um, I'm not sure if they could be, you know, what what uh, the scripture says is Edomized or, you know, Japhetites or maybe a white-looking Hebrew Israelite man. I don't know. But from what I see, a lot of, like, my aunts uh, on my mom's side of the family, they married a uh, white man. Uh, some of my cousins, female cousins on my dad's side of the family, they married white men as well. But that's because they grew up here in the U.S. But everybody, like, if you go to towns like in Mexico and stuff like that, since, like I said, they're so small, you know, they, a lot of them just, you know, end up running into distant family members that they find attractive so they end up uh, messing around with them so yeah there's a lot of shame within that um they don't want to talk about it but they're no different than any other country i'm telling you they're into the same junk they got the same sense they need to address and you know sort out um i made two videos on them already this is the third one um i don't want to repeat the same things i already mentioned before um, yeah, but a lot of them, like I said, they're just self-righteous. You can't tell them anything. Uh, they think just by going to church every weekend that that makes them holy. And I don't know. They just look at, uh, the faith as a religious, you know, thing to practice, like ordinances, right? And to all that nuttery and communion and it's, it's a strong delusion. Like they can't get out of it. Unless they're, you know, shown the truth. But if they don't want to come out of it, if they can't come out of it, then, you know, hey, that's on them. But, yeah, their sins, I mean, the biggest ones that stick out to me as far as their religion goes, Catholicism. One of the, like I said, worst uh, sets of Christianity, uh... Everything's so like uh, counterfeit, right? Not even counterfeit. It's like one of the most obvious uh, sets of Christianity that you just know it's wrong. You can look at it. Like, it's everything's like, it seems like it's designed to troll these people that are in this set of Christianity. And it's a form of Santeria. Like I said, they worship idols and all that. They're very big on that. Um,. People are always celebrating something the wrong way. I mean, uh, and besides the incest, and I don't even know, probably pedophilia too. I don't know. I mean, they're dealing with the same crap, okay? The pedophilia, the incest, um, fornication, the adultery, the educational system. They want to be like the white men, the white women. Uh, and not the good white people, you know, the ones that are Hebrew Israelite. Um, they want to be like uh, the people of Babylon, the, the people in the system, this matrix. So they're just following along and, you know, they think they're on the right path because they like to equivalent, you know, a gain as some sort of godliness some sort of proof that they're doing right when they have no idea so yeah um, I don't know what else to say about them um, other than the times we're in right now they're going to be celebrating all this nonsense uh, a lot of them 
you know, travel from the U.S. to, like like I said, other places outside the country that, you know, because there's a lot of fiestas over there right now. So they like to go out there and, you know, as they say, uh, puro desmadre, right? Puro chingaderas. Um, pura porquería. Eh, esta gente está perdida. Muchas de estas uh, gente son descendientes de Jacob, ¿verdad? Hebreos. Pero están perdidos porque no, no han recibido la luz, you know, la luz de, del mensaje del Señor. Uh, y pues, esta gente, no sé, es muy difícil de convencerla de que despierte y que haga caso. No, no entienden, no sé qué, qué tienen, qué les pasa, no sé qué decirles. Uh, espero que el Señor les dé un poco de pie. You know, de gracia y tenga piedad a sus almas, pero yo no sé qué puedo hacer para ellos. Uh, no me, me, no sé, tienen el espíritu de, you know, santería, espíritu de Babilón, cat, católicos. Uh, uh, veo que muchas de las mujeres hispanas, latinas, tienen el espíritu de, de Jezebel, ¿verdad? Como se dice. Y los hombres, no sé qué les pasa, están muy, uh, no son muy masculinos, se ven masculinos pero por dentro noto que algo no está bien, algo, algo tienen mal uh, y pues están todos perdidos verdad, no, no quieren hacer las cosas bien, so están sufriendo y, y no dicen nada, sé, sé que guardan mucho en el closet, verdad, muchos pecados uh, hay muchos de ellos como digo, eh, están Uh, acostándose con su propia familia y, y piensan que uno no sabe, ¿verdad? Pero es que tienen problemas de, de lujuria, ¿verdad? Y como van todos los pueblos allá, uh, se conocen uno al otro y pues, you know, tienen que limpiar su vida, tienen que limpiar quién son y empezar por dentro, ¿verdad? De uno mismo. Uh, yeah, I know I'm talking in Spanish. I'm addressing the Hispanic Latino community. Basically calling them out, you know, putting them on blast. That they need to get their shit together, man. Because a lot of them, during this time of the year, I mean, saying shit year round. Uh, I was there last year. I seen all that bullshit. You know, I'm stupid for not recording them and all that shit. Uh, when they're in the little, you know, idolatry and all that shit that they're into. Um... But yeah, I'm just not very happy with them. I'm not very happy with my own countrymen and women um, or the whole Hispanic Latino community. A lot of them have no idea that they're Hebrew Israelites and they need to, you know, wake the hell up. You know, wake the hell up out of their slumber because they're making themselves look bad. They're making, you know, the Hebrew Israelites look bad, the ones that are trying to, you know, sharpen up and whatnot. So, I mean, I tell them this because I love them, but... If they don't want to listen, I mean, I'm not going to beat my head against the wall. Um, yeah, you know, when I talk to these sisters out here, you know, it's a, it's always about, it's like, you know, it's like they just think, oh, I'm just trying to hit on them or whatever, something like It's always about something sexual, some romance, some love. Like, nah, I'm just generally trying to share this message with you. Can, can you leave the sexual part, you know, to the side for a minute? Can I just talk to you and, you know, let you know really what I want to, you know, get across to you. And that's that you need to repent, this and that. You might think that you're on the right track, but you're not. Um, you know, get your shit together. That's why you're suffering. You're under the curses, you know. That's what brought us to, uh, into this mess in the first place for not keeping, you know, the commandments. And we forgot who we were and stuff like that. And... You know, you're a uh, beautiful people. Uh, you lost your beauty for going off. So you just need to, you know, A, turn back if you can. You know, I mean, I don't know what else I can do for them. I know I haven't been there enough for them. I haven't been able, you know, to reach them like I really want to. Or I haven't even been trying to relate to them, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm kind of cold, you know. When it comes to them. But I guess you could say the same thing when it comes to me and everybody. Uh, and cold in the sense that I'm so busy with what I'm doing for the elect. 
and for God and Savior and all that, that maybe I should focus some of my time in talking to these people one-on-one and, you know, trying to let them know, look, you know, I'm not here to beat down on you. I'm not here to talk down to you. Uh, I know a lot of yous need a whole lot of healing and uplifting, you know. I see how these people are, and um, a lot of them are great people, but they need to be built up, and a lot of them aren't being built up. So, you know, I feel like I, I haven't done a good job when it comes to that. I can't just be, you know, thrashing them with my words and exposing them and this and that and not being able to do something for them but yeah a lot of them though they're so puffed up with pride and like i said they're so stuck in this matrix they don't see anything beyond this um so i do question how much effect i can have upon them so yeah anyways yeah this is just a quick video on them um i didn't talk a lot about them but i did address a few things that a brother brought up that are going on within the Hispanic Latino community, which is the incest and the pedophilia, right? Older guys, really young girls, or maybe even old, who knows nowadays, probably older women with really young guys. I don't know, man. Everything, everything's out of whack. And, uh, yeah, I mean, family members, cousins, laying with one another, uh, it's, it's 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 messed up because like I said the towns over there they're so damn small everyone knows each other they're all usually all related and you know once in a while you do find a good looking family member here and there so I guess they don't keep that on check they got lust issues uh, a lot of them like I said they're so town and tribe oriented they don't get out and see like look man there's other towns nearby <laughs> there's other people out there to meet uh, I mean come on man I mean sheesh you're showing how simple you are. I mean, there's there's the same problems I hear in America. And some say probably even worse, but I'm not talking about America. I talk about America enough, all right? I want to talk to you people now, you know? So, yeah. I don't, so I don't identify with country because that's not who we are. I mean, yeah, sure, the countries are there for a reason and whatnot, the borders. But, you know, as a people... You know, you're first and foremost, some of you are Israelite, Hebrew Israelites, okay? That's your nationality, all right? All this stuff is just a deception to throw, keep you divided, okay? A lot of people can't see that. Like, a lot of Americans, they're just stuck in the patriotism and the country and, you know, they think that that's all they are, Americans. They don't realize that they're Hebrew Israelites. And even when they realize that some of them are Hebrew Israelites, they still uphold, like, the country they think is going to last forever rather than the nation of Israel. It's like, come on, man. I'm not talking about Israel in the Middle East, no. I'm talking about uh, Israel first and foremost as a people and nation. So, I mean, you got brothers and sisters scattered throughout the earth, all right, all over the place. So they're all going to come from different countries. But anyways, not to get off, you know, topic and whatnot. So, yeah, these Hispanic Latino people, I mean, they got issues. They got some serious issues. Um, yeah, a lot of them are just ruined, you know. A lot of them come here to make their money, go back. So supposedly that's the plan, you know, to come here to work, go back. A lot of them, my family members, they, you know, supposed they were supposed to come here, they had a mission, go back and, you know, stay situated over there. But what they do, they come over here, they get, you know, so caught up in the and the system and, and the big cities here that you see in Babylon, you got Vegas, all these beautiful cities around here. And they just get so caught up in it that they forget to go back and, you know, stick with the family structure. So they get lost here. They start getting into drugs and they just start getting lost. And they love the partying, the sightseeing. They, oh, it's nice. But they lose themselves in the process. A lot of them, they just ruin themselves or, or they they start to adapt to the system that we see here in America and a lot of Hispanic Latinos have done just that they killed themselves and damn near destroyed themselves and that's all they're waiting for is destruction a lot of them because they gave everything they had or justify everything they had to this uh, nation thinking that you know this was the way to go and like scripture says you know uh, Babylon, you know, has a strong influence. So, 
this nation stretches out everywhere and it has enslaved everyone you know everyone's drawn to this everybody wants to be like america and stuff like that and yeah i mean the people are lost um they need to see that the american dream is not what it seems so i mean they need to wake up to who they are okay and and only keep what's good and throw out whatever is bad so yeah um yeah i mean what can i say it's it's no different all countries all races have their problems their issues um and i could only hope to reach these people you know um it seems like they're so stuck in, I don't know, they just like to travel here and there, you know. They're just like Americans in a sense. I don't even know where they get all this money to travel. Where the hell are you getting this money to go places, to go to Mexico, you know, every year, or every season? Like, what the f... You know, how are you, how are you better off than some of us? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't see that. What, what are you doing? <laughs> Straight up. You know, what the hell? And they go all over the place, different countries. They go to Europe and whatever. I'm like, these people are always getting money. They never had money, but they always have money to go travel. And I'm like, man, what the? Something doesn't add up. It's because they got that damn, them damn spirits in them, man, okay? Sending them all over the place. That's why, you know, making them come up and all that. But if you take that away from them, start tossing the demons out of them, they ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so, yeah, I know what's going on. I see this shit. I mean, they're not fooling me. I know the issues they got. And I know the skeletons they're hiding in the closet. They need to come out. All their sins. Uh, I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, their sins aren't going to be much different than the other prisons, you know. Probably some of them are into drugs. Who knows? Got all kinds of sins that they need to deal with and address. Um, and a lot of them, just for some reason, when you bring it up, you ask them, you know, personal stuff. Uh, when's the last time you did this? When's the last time you did that? You know, if you want to be my friend, you know, I just, I'm just curious. Let me ask you this. Oh, you just don't ask those questions. That's weird, you know. This is, they get all offensive and defensive. and It's crazy. I'm like, all right, I see what it is. They got the unclean spirits. And all right, so if you can't even answer that, then I'm not going to go any further with you. I already know where this is going. Uh, you got to, you know, start doing uh some work within yourself so that you could begin the healing process and uh yeah i can't i can't help these people you know only savior can help them so they gotta get cleaned up just like everybody else and yeah get on the right track but anyways yeah i'm not gonna go on too long with these people um I'd be here all day, you know, like pointing out all their sins and whatnot. Um, yeah, it's sad. It's sad. Because you do have some decent-looking uh, Hispanic Latinos out there that he visualized that, you know, it'd be a shame to see them go to waste. Uh, I would like to see them, you know, refined, changed and saved so yeah i know um it's 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 a shame but you know it is what it is and like i said all nations and countries throughout the world have their problems um yeah but i'm here in america so i don't know how much impact i could have um on the hispanic latino community uh, I don't see a lot of them where I'm at. Maybe a couple here and there. But, uh, yeah, try to reach the people in other countries. I know some of them are listening and watching. Probably some of my old friends and whatnot. They're probably checking up on me once in a while. But, uh, yeah, if you're listening, just know, look, no hard feelings. You know, I had to take this pat. I had to let a lot of you go. So that maybe I could hopefully save some of you or help some of you out, you know. So, yeah. It's uh, a 
the path that uh, required me to get away from from a lot of these Hispanic Latinos because I wouldn't be able to grow if I remained in all the nonsense that they like to indulge in and, uh, and all that crap, you know? And uh, anyways, yeah. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Um, I hope you found the video informative and I hope you realize that these people are not that much different from you in some areas, okay? From all you other races out there. Uh, they got their own issues with El Mexico and other... Excuse me, I'm yawning. <laughs> I'm a little... I wouldn't say tired, but... Kind of just want to relax right now. But I'm making this video. Um, Yeah, a lot of these uh, Hispanic Latino countries... You know, they got the same type of issues and sins that a lot of you Americans are dealing with, okay? So don't think that you are, you know, worse than <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, don't don't think that you Americans are worse than other con countries and nations throughout the world. Um they just sin in a different way that, than you do, right? Or something will stick out about them. Uh yeah, the whole world needs to, uh, you know, get this shit together, so to speak. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to ramble much longer. Uh, that's it. That's all I have to say for this video. And uh, I might make a part four on this these uh, wretched, reprobate Hispanic Latinos out there that, you know, need to get their act in order, right? So, anyways, that's it. Till next time. Peace.